This Thai chicken stir fry is packed full of flavor and is ready in about 20 minutes. Quicker than takeout and easy to prepare. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, a home cook, bringing you simply delicious food ideas. We're making a Thai peanut chicken stir fry today. I love Thai flavors, so this is going to be quick and easy and super flavorful. I've already cut up six chicken thighs into bite-sized pieces. It's about a pound. I'm adding a teaspoon of fish sauce, and we're just gonna let this marinate while we prepare the remaining ingredients. Moving on quickly to our vegetables, I have one onion. I'm just gonna slice up. And I like to slice from top to bottom because I find that it holds its shape better. You can also add garlic to this stir fry if you like. Um, I'm not going to because I find that the curry paste already packs so much flavor. But if you want to, you can surely do that. And we're trying to make this as simple as possible. I'm also using a red pepper today. I like the color and the sweetness of it. If you don't like red pepper, you can use a different vegetable or you can use a different color altogether if you like. I am also using a sugar snap peas today. It was a large handful, maybe about a cup and a half. And when you're using sugar snap peas, you gotta make sure you take off this part here because it is stringy and it won't be a great mouthfeel. Tough to eat. If you don't have sugar snap peas, you can also use broccoli or cauliflower or mushrooms. This um, recipe is super versatile. Use vegetables that you like to eat. When cooking stir fries, it's really important to get all of your ingredients ready to go because the cooking part goes by really fast. I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the curry paste. So I'm using a Roy D curry paste and I know that it's quite um, strong in flavor and I don't need to add a lot more fish sauce or too much sugar to balance out the flavors here. So your stir fry is going to be dependent on the curry paste that you can get by the brand. And so you're gonna have to do some tasting as you go to make sure that it is to your liking. I also wanted to add some freshness to the stir fry. So I chopped up some cilantro and also I have some Thai basil. I'm just gonna chop that up as well. You can use just cilantro if you like or just Thai basil if you like. And if you don't wanna add any herbs, that's totally fine too. Okay, heating up my wok on medium. Okay, once you see that wisp of smoke, add two tablespoons of cooking oil. I'm using avocado oil today. You can use any neutral oil and add your onions. And stir fry this for about a minute or two. Just adding a little bit more oil into the middle of the wok. I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of curry paste. I'm gonna fry this up a little bit in the oil to get the flavors going. Also adding a tablespoon of sugar only because I know that's how much sugar I need to add to the curry paste. And you might need to adjust it a little bit for your curry paste. And once your curry paste is fried up a little bit, we're gonna add the chicken. And we're going to cook this until the chicken kind of separates from one another, that it's not so sticky. Just gonna bump the heat up a little bit. Once your chicken is a little bit cooked, because if, you can tell because the pieces of chicken are no longer sticking together, we're gonna add our red peppers and our snap peas. And depending on the vegetables that you're choosing to use, you may have to cook it um, longer or not as long. So we're gonna cook this for about three to five minutes depending on how crisp you like your 
vegetables to remain or softened. At this point, I'm also going to add about a quarter cup of water. And that will help the vegetables to cook through a little bit quicker from the steam. Okay, we're gonna cover it for about three to five minutes. All right, everything is cooked through. I'm adding my peanut butter, half a cup. Oh my goodness, guys. I wish you could smell this, it smells so good. Turning off the heat, I'm going to add my basil and my cilantro. Let's get this onto a plate. Oh, there's so much food here, guys. Forget takeout. This was done in less than 20 minutes. I also have about half a cup of uh, chopped roasted peanuts. You can use as little or as much as you want. That's probably a quarter cup. And top with the rest of my cilantro. Does that look good or what, guys? Are you all ready for the taste? Um, dude, this is the taste. I'm bad, guys, from being sick, and it's time. Yes. You can just see all the textures going on here, and the color looks so appetizing, guys. Uh, get some chicken. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yum. That peanut butter just brings it all together, and this is gonna go awesome for dinner. It's rice. All right, chicken. Wow, zing. Got heat, chicken, nice and moist, cooked perfectly. And with the veg. Mm. The sauce is nice and creamy. The veg holds its texture and then you bring it along with the chicken that's cooked awesomely. Oh yeah. So good. All right, thanks dude. Mm -hmm. That was super easy guys. If you want your sauce to be more saucy, more thinned out, just add some more water and you'll love it served on top of rice. For more Thai recipes, check it out. I will see you over there.